so we are on a mini road trip um, taking it up in the mountains today something a little bit different we're gonna try to chase some green bass some largemouth um, maybe some trout if we can find some wild trout out here but we're trying to hit something new I've actually never been up here um, this is all new territory to me but I figured we got the opportunity we got the day off so we're gonna see what we can find today and see if we can find some new productive water and catch some fish. Check out that view. We got some huge cliffs, huge runoffs. Uh, forbidden by law, no trespassing at this point. And so I'm stuck. Not sure where to go from here. water down there. That's probably the dam. You can probably see parts of it. But, um, I'm not really sure where to go from here. My entrance, according to Google, has been blocked off, so I'm trying to see if there's an alternative route or another place to go parking. That kind of ruined my plans. So we'll see what we can get from here. Oh. Looks doable. Big, big little hike down. So I can either go this way and run into some trees or take a steep path down. Let's see. Let's go into the trees. Under this tree. Just fell. We're close to water now. All right, so we made it. I'm gonna see if I can pitch into these little branches and pull something out. Start off there. I'll work my way around this side and pitch to these little covers. And we'll start here and we'll adjust and move accordingly. All right, time to rig up and pull something out.
Got one. There you go. There we go. First one. Not big. But I'm not football jig. Check that out. So I made that random trip, new body of water. Um, climbed down and less than five minutes in. First bass, not a huge one. Caught on that football jig, pitching with little brushes. Solid fish. And it's a good start of the day. Let's see if we can get a couple more. So that's the first one. Going in for the release. I don't want to go all the way down there, so. And he's gone. All right, let's go for the second one. Space guy Ian. Looks kind of like a carp. Can't tell. Um, if you guys know what this is, let me know. It's kind of interesting. It's all the way up here. Water's all the way down there, so looks like it could have been caught and just thrown up here. Looks like people have probably been here before, so I'm not the only one. That one. Solid fish. Football jig. Does it again. It's a big guy. There you go. Maybe about two pounds, one and a half. So it's the second bass in the football jig. Go. Good guy. Large mouth. All right, back in the water. There it goes. Jumper. You got these brushes over here and I'm just kind of pitching to them and dragging right through them. And that's where I got hit. So let's see if we can do another one on this. There's another one. Ooh, found him. They want that jig. Jumper. Another one. A little bigger too. Woo. Right there. Number three. Number three. All right. Number three. Back it goes. We are smoking a jig today. Ooh, I lost a, a pincher on that one. But let's try it again. That was the same spot. I literally just cast in the same spot. So let's see if we can get number four. And like I said, this is a new lake. Um, just had the time. Figured I'd try something new. Oh, got hit already.
they're gonna try something new haven't done bass fishing in a while and i figured i'd just get back out oh another one number four This is the spot. They're fired up. Ooh. I missed that first one too. Beautiful. Another jig fish. It's number four. Check that out. Awesome. All right, let's get the release. Biggest one. Right there, five. So that's number five. He bit and I missed. You saw that. And he came straight back for it. So let's get number five back in. It's a good one too. And that's six. So the spot is on fire. I'm literally just picking it apart with the football jig. I'm getting bit on every other hop pretty much. That was literally within two cast. Jumper. And I literally have no more appendages on this jig. Um, I don't think I have another craw. So I don't have another craw. I do have this uh, jackal cover craw. I'm just gonna cut that right in half and put that on the end of my jig so I could have those appendages. I am gonna use that as my jig trailer. Thread that on. just so it has those appendages, giving that flap that those crawdads kind of have. And we're gonna see if we can get bit on that one again. Just at the bottom. Oh, bit. Oh, missed it. It 
here we go. Seven. Ooh, jumper. Oh man. Oh. Oh, it just broke my rod. Well, using straight braid on a medium rod, broke my rod, but got another solid fish. Well, what do you think about that, huh? <laughs> 